Welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do the uh, poor man's burnt ends, is what they're called. And what they are is actually just made out of chuck roast instead of uh, brisket point. Usually, burnt ends are made from the brisket point. Um, they cut the point off of the uh, whole brisket packer when they smoke it, and they chop it up in little cube sized bites, and then they mix it with a little bit more rub. And they throw some sauce in there and they toss them back on the smoker for a little bit. And they're kind of like a little appetizer. People really love them if you've never had them before. They're mostly, like I said, made with uh, brisket point. But we're going to do it with chuck roast. I've got two, um, about they're about three pounds each, two chuck roasts we're going to do it with. I'm going to make a whole bunch of them. This are, these are going to be for um, dinner on Sunday. And they're already seasoned. Before I vacuum packed them, I seasoned them with my regular beef rub, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. Um, be down in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and I got my sous vide bath already ready. It's going to be at 134. We're going to do them at like right at 36 hours. They don't really need a whole 48 because we're going to throw these in the smoker for a little bit longer. But I want them to be kind of the medium, medium rare. Done this. I don't want to cook them to death at 200, you know, up to 200 degrees like normal brisket point is um, or chuck roast when you cook it on the grill. Sous vide is going to let us cook it to a 134, 135 and then go ahead, chop it up. It's going to be really tender and then we're just going to get some smoke and some color to it, get some of the bark and then put some sauce on it to uh, sweeten them up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these in and we'll see. Pulled the uh, chuck roast out of the sous vide mat, and they're pretty much done. Um, a lot of juice in the bags, and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to drain some of that, and we're going to use it for the uh, for the sauce when we do the uh, burnt ends, when we put them back on the smoker for the burnt ends. So I'm going to actually mix it with some other barbecue sauce to kind of tone down the sweetness. I don't want these, uh, since they're beef, I don't want them really too... Uh, you know, sugary or sweet. I want them a little bit more savory. So we're going to use some of these juices for that. I'm going to go ahead and also throw these in the refrigerator to cool them down. So I'm going to cool them down, let them get back up to temp when we have it on the smoker. It'll actually let the meat um, get more smoke on it anyway, uh, doing it that way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drain some of this uh, liquid off and we're going to throw these in the uh, refrigerator for a few hours. We'll see you guys. Back and I just took these uh, chuck roasts out of the refrigerator and I'm going to put them on this rack. That's what I'm going to cook them on on the smoker today. Um, they are nice and chilled right now. But they're cooked to a perfect medium rare on the inside, I can guarantee you that. So I'm waiting for the grill to come up to temp. I did get it started. It'll probably take another 15 minutes or so for it to come up to temp. So in the meantime, I'm just going to let these sit out here. I did put a little bit more of the uh, my normal pork rub on here, just a little bit, just to uh, sweeten it up just a little. Um, remember, I don't want these too sweet. I want a little bit of sweetness, but um, just some, I want some savory aspects to them as well. So... So as the grill comes up to temp, I will uh, let these sit here. So we'll be back when we're throwing them on the grill. All right, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and throw the uh, chuck roast on the grill. It's right up a little past 225 right now. And you will notice I do have a water pan in there. And I do like to use water pan. And the only reason I do is because I find it lets the smoke stick to the... Uh, meat a little bit better so keeps it moist I know that people say that tomatoes are keep moisture in anyway and they do much better than a uh, regular um, stick burner or any kind of other offset smoker or 
charcoal grill, but um, I just like to put a water pan in there just in case. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to, while that meat is smoking, I'm going to go ahead and get my sauce ready. And what I did is I took about a third of a cup of that uh, juice that we got out of the bag from the chuck roasts. And I also took about a third of a cup of Running Wild's hot barbecue sauce so we can get a little spice and about a third of a cup of their original gourmet barbecue sauce. And so I'm going to break this up to temp, just mix these up together yeah, and give it a taste and see how they enough. We're not really trying to cook this or anything. We're actually just trying to get it to meld together. So we took those um, two sauces and the bag drippings and it just comes out pretty good there. I just gave it a taste and I'm just going to I'll keep this on warm just to uh, keep it so it doesn't uh, break. Mm. Pretty good just enough spice just enough uh, sweetness just enough uh, savory so it's just a good mix of everything. Anyway, they've been on a little over a half hour so I'm just going to check their internal temperature here. They've been getting some good smoke is looking pretty good. If you can't see that, I'll move the camera up a little bit. So they got some good color in that little bit of time. Oop. You can see, you can see it. Let's see what their internal temperature turns out to be here. And I'm going to pull it if it's a little over 100. But yeah, this one's right at 104, 105. 110 there, so it's got some definitely got some different spots. So since it's over 100 in most of the places, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get them off the grill. Boy, and they are smoky. I can smell that smoke from here. You can take a look. I got some nice color to them, and I'm gonna cut them up a little bit over one inch cubes, and we're gonna put them in this pan and coat them in the sauce. So I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and show you. I'm just going to cut them all lengthwise, and then I'm going to cut, cut them up. So I'm going to go about a little over an inch in, and just give it a cut. And if you can see this, you see how medium rare that still is. And that's what I want. They're very tender. I can feel that already, because it feels kind of like a brisket. But I'm just going to cut a couple of these. And that's how I'm going to do it. About that long, about that wide, and about this this big. You can see that how juicy and tender that is, and still being medium rare. That's how I want them. So now when we stick these in the sauce, let them cook a little bit more out there. More of that, a little bit more of that fat's going to render, but the uh, meat is not going to be you know, well done or overcooked, like if I would have had to cook it at 200 plus degrees normally in the smoker. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of these up, and then we're going to throw them back on the there smoker. There you go. I'll be back all and cut up now. And I'm going to go ahead and add my sauce that we've been holding. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon it on, and then I'm going to gonna mix it up with my hands on this spoon a little bit. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Make sure it gets all coated. Then we're going to go throw it on the uh, grill. And I'll see you guys back about 15, I'm all 20 done now. Actually, this was in there another 15 minutes or so. Let the, a little bit more of that fat render down. You got a little bit more color on to them. Got a little smoke. And get over here, Spencer. I want you to take a taste of this. Just take one of these small ones here. It's a little, little bit of bark on it. Here you go. That one right there. It's still a little warm. Don't throw the whole thing in your mouth. You're going to choke. <laughs> you burn your mouth. Mm -hmm. You even know what that is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't even tell you. It's chuck roast. It's a chuck roast burnt end. Wow. Very tender. How's it taste? Smoky. Very smoky. Very smoky. How about sweet? A little bit. A little sweet? Mm -hmm. Not too sweet? I'm going to just take one of these up here so these guys can see it up close. Just going to want to show you guys up at the camera real close just how moist and the 
color is on this still it's not well done that's for sure very juicy and like Spencer says they're very smoky but I'll eat one too mm. teeth go right through it and as you can see still pretty medium rare in there mm. alright guys you need to try these I know that uh, you're used to cooking your burn ends and brisket chuck roast well done but if you try it sous vide you can make it where you can make it nice and medium medium rare and still have the great flavor of the burn end so thanks for joining us make sure you follow us on Facebook follow us on Instagram follow us on Twitter and make sure you like this uh, video and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video say goodbye Spencer <laughs>